back to Jen Beauty. My name is Jennifer and here on my channel I like to chat about all things beauty and makeup. Today I have a dual purpose in this video. I have friend mail to share with you and then I also have a mystery box unboxing. So uh, the friend mail is Mel. The friend mail is from Andy over at Andy Does Stuff. I'll have her video or her channel linked below. Um, this was a total surprise and so, so sweet. Um, she sent a card. I love it. It is so beautiful. Um, letting me know that she was thinking of me, hoping I was feeling better and not to be mad at her. <laughs> um, I could never, absolutely not. I thought it was the sweetest, most thoughtful thing that I could receive. Um, we had been chatting about... Um, Ash's video from Makeup and Chaos. Um, they used the Beach Cosmetics Miss Claws the Lit List palette. And I was like, man, Ash has me on Mercari trying to buy palettes that I don't need. And um, Andy sent me a listing on Mercari and I favorited it and was like kind of thinking on it and was like, okay. If it's still there, then I will buy it in like a week or so because then I will have at least thought about it. Um, and then if it's not there, it wasn't meant to be. Well, that sneaky booger bought me the palette. <laughs> Sorry, I just took off the cover without even like showing you what the cover is. I'm sure you've seen this palette before, but if you haven't, it is a 30 pan palette and it has like these cute little snowflakes on the front. It's so adorable. But inside, it is gorgeous. Like you have these neutrals and then you have like this transition to like greens, reds, burgundies, ugh, a whole row of cool tones. And then the look that Ash did with this palette like it just, it had me drooling at the shimmer shadows. So I want to say a huge thank you to Andy. It really does mean a lot to me, even just that you were thinking of me. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am not worthy. Um, now let's get into the mystery box. I purchased the Adept Cosmetics mystery box. So initially it came out and they did say that, you know, if you bought like the nameless palette, that it wouldn't ship until the nameless palette was ready to ship. And those were a pre-order. So you'd get your mystery box plus the nameless palette. So some people either didn't read that or didn't realize it would take so long for that to stock. And um, they started shipping out the mystery boxes on January 25th. Um, but people that ordered like in the people that ordered in the first wave without the palette still hadn't received theirs um, or seen like a shipping notification by like the first of February. And so a lot of them asked to cancel their order, which whatever, that's fine. And Adept was pretty good about like, if it hasn't shipped yet, you can cancel your order. But if you got it with the, like another palette, it canceled your whole order. Like you couldn't just cancel one part of your order. Um, which I think is fair. I mean, depending how their system is set up, which I think they use Shopify, um, that makes sense. Now this is a, it's the mystery box celebrating our sixth birthday. Um, this was, I can't remember how much it was, um, because it's sold out right now. I'll have to go back and look and see. The description does say ships within two to 10 business days starting on January 25th. Um, the description says some companies try to get rid of overstock by creating various mystery boxes. However, our mystery box contains nine all new, full size, high quality, never seen before products from our brand. That means it will not contain anything you can view on our website. It's a true mystery. Um, 
It did say included products do not contain talc, glitter, mineral oil, white oil, or BHT. Um, mystery box is sold at a discount. The estimated retail value is over $170 when sold so separately. All products will be available at normal retail prices in mid-2023. Uh, if you buy more than one mystery box, you'll end up with duplicates. It's a final sale, cannot be returned, exchanged, or refunded. We do not recommend purchasing this box if you're new to our brand. Um, and then it has like a little box checklist, which means like nothing to me because it doesn't have like, you know, what the products are, which is good because it's supposed to be a mystery box, right? So, um, I open Instagram, uh, well, okay. I got to thinking about the Adept Mystery Box the other day. And I was like, man, I, I wish I had gotten that mystery box. I wonder if they, you know, happen to still have any or if they restock them. And it just so happened to be a day that they, like, posted on Instagram that they had enough cancellations that they were relisting the mystery box. So if you missed out on it, the first release, you could get it. And I didn't buy it in January because I was like, no, I've bought enough things this month. And I was like, February's a new month. Fine by me. <laughs> um, so I went on their site. I was able to use a discount code. I want to say it was 130 And then I was able to get it for 10% off. But let me double check. Okay, the price was 135 US dollars before shipping and is eligible for discount code. So I was able to get it with the discount code 135 minus 10%. All right. So I open Instagram like two, three days after I order it. And the first thing I see is a spoiler picture, which by the way, if you ordered this, haven't seen the spoiler yet, and you don't want this spoiled, please do not watch this video check out now because um, I'm going to be showing everything that I got. So it was kind of annoying because it didn't even say like spoiler ahead. There wasn't like a, a cover picture. Like it immediately went into showing what the palette looked like. Um, which the palette is a whole other disappointment, but um, all right. Now that I have this unwrapped and I am no longer talking over wrestling, um, I want to show you, if you're not familiar with the brand, um, I have the Plain Jane Remastered palette and this is an all shimmer palette and they're, they're gorgeous, man. I love these shimmers. Um, I pull, I keep them with my singles, like my ColourPop singles, like the Super Shocks. I keep them in the same drawer because that's how I use this palette is as, you know, singles. I go into here when I'm like, ooh, I want a really pretty topper shade. I'll go into here like I would for a super shock. Um, <clears throat> and then the, I have the Heather Austin palette and that has four mattes and the rest are shimmers. So every palette that they've come out with, including like the, the Minka palette, that one has two mattes and the rest are shimmers. It's very shimmer heavy. So, and they're known for like amazing multi-chromes and shimmers. So everyone is kind of expecting that this palette in their mystery box would also be pretty shimmer heavy. Um, but in fact, it is not. Um, so... Let's talk first about the vast disappointment of finding out that there are eight eyeliners in this mystery box. Now, to me, this is not quite as bad as everyone who got the Ace Beauté mystery boxes and ended up with a bunch of lashes that they didn't use or didn't like. Um, <clears throat> however, this is, this is a disappointment because when it said nine never before released products, it didn't say, and eight of them will be the same. Like I was kind of expecting like maybe a lippy or maybe like a cheek product or 
a loose pigment. You know, I wasn't expecting nine completely different products, but I certainly was not expecting an eyeshadow palette and eight eyeliners. Now, many of these, all but one, are multi-chrome eyeliners, which is fantastic. However, they're liquid liners and I don't use liquid liners. I may still, like, I think I'm going to watch some swatch videos and maybe see, like, which ones look the most interesting to me. And I'll keep those. And then I, they're sealed. So, I mean, if I want to, you know, sell them on Mercari, I can. But, um, what a disappointment. Like, I'm not really sure what was, what they were thinking when they were like, let's tell everyone that it's nine never before released products. And eight of them will be the same product. And then this eyeshadow palette has five shimmers and the rest are mattes. Now, I think the color story is actually pretty beautiful. Like, and I like the way it's broken down into, you can use this as a quad, you can use this as a quad, you can use this as a quad, and then you can top it with an accent shimmer. Um, so I think that's pretty awesome, but, um, let's swatch a few of the shimmer shades. Okay, so Hermosa Beach and Redondo Beach feel very, um, almost like a putty, and then, um, Manhattan Beach feels, like, soft, like, super smooth. So this is Hermosa Beach. This one is Manhattan Beach. It's gorgeous. And then this one is Redondo Beach. They're gorgeous. I mean, I'm not complaining about these shimmers in any way, shape, or form. I knew that they would come through with the shimmer shades that they did. Um, and then let's do PCH and Santa Monica Boulevard. So PCH feels more dry and then Santa Monica Boulevard feels very putty-like like the other two. So this one, you can actually feel glitter particles in. Um, that's PCH. And then that one is Santa Monica Boulevard. And this palette will be released later in the year. Um, so if you're interested, um, be on the lookout for that. Um, I do think it will be a successful launch for them. I do think it's a beautiful palette. Um, but I don't think that the description led to a lot of happy customers. Um, and honestly, like, I take full responsibility for purchasing a mystery box, right? Like, a mystery box, truly a mystery, what you're going to get. You, you take a gamble when you buy a mystery box. Um, but at the same time, it kind of, like, didn't meet industry standards when it came to variety. Um, which I think is why everyone was quite disappointed in the last set of Ace Beauté boxes. Um... They were expecting like maybe an eyeshadow palette, maybe a pair of lashes, maybe a lippy. And it just, that wasn't what a lot of people ended up getting. Um, I know that like P. Louise does mystery boxes, but it's like a, I don't know if you can buy them by themselves or if you have to get the subscription, but in every box are previously unreleased products. And so it wasn't outside the realm of possibilities that there would be more of a variety. One, disappointed that the surprise was ruined, even though I don't typically love surprises. Like if I'm getting a mystery box, it's because I want to be surprised. <laughs> like I'm asking for the surprise. I just don't like being surprised with a surprise unless it's like really cool friend mail. Um. So anyways, that's where we stand. I, you know, I would open and swatch some of these eyeliners, but like I said, I want to, I kind of want to check out some videos and see like which ones I want to try out. 
Um, I think this would be less disappointing if I hadn't just purchased the Kaleidos um, multi-chrome eyeliners, which I am in love with. Like, I love those eyeliners. Um, <clears throat> but seeing as how I just bought six of them last year, like, I didn't need another eight. Um, for those of you wondering about my makeup rehab, um, I'll explain it more in the video, but... Um, any eyeliners that I keep are not going to count against me. So I'm not trying to offload eyeliners to um, offset the cost, but the eyeshadow palette absolutely counts against me. So that's the only bright side is that the whole mystery box only cost me one point in my makeup rehab, but I was willing to spend more. <laughs> like I was ready. Like we were ready to throw some points at it. Um, anyways, um, on the plus side, I received an extremely thoughtful friend gift and I am so thankful. Um, let me know, let me know in the, um, comments below if you purchased the Adept Mystery Box and if you were just as disappointed or maybe you were happy and if you received this, how would you feel about it? Um, if you like this video, I hope you'll give it a big thumbs up. And if you would like to see more makeup and beauty content from me, hit that subscribe button. And I'll have more coming at you. I hope wherever you are, you have a wonderful day. Bye. Oh, hey, uh, by the way, if you haven't already, go check out Andy because Andy is awesome. Um, also, go check out Ash at Makeup and Chaos because it's their fault that I ended up wanting this palette in the first place. Um, also, also, also. This eye look was filmed for a collab that I have coming up, so be on the lookout for that. Okay, bye for real.